Hey, what's up guys? So as I rebuild, one of the major ways I'm gonna be making money is through merching and I thought I'd make a little video series. I don't know how much you guys will enjoy this. So this might be the only video, we'll see how people like it. Um, but I'm just gonna basically show me merching, uh, show the items I flip, talk about it, uh, talk about my mindset behind it. I'm not the best mercher in the world. So this, uh, but I'm sure there's tons of people who have no idea how to merch at all and this could be helpful for you guys kind of what I do tell you some tips and stuff. So uh, the goal is to turn this 250 mil into uh, 500 mil, so double it, see how long that takes me. And then maybe even one bill, we'll see how, we'll see it once I hit 500 mil if I wanna keep going to one bill uh, with with this series. Um, yeah, it all depends on how much you guys wanna see it because all it's gonna be is clips of me at the GE flipping stuff. Like that's all this account is gonna be is flipping stuff and all this video series is gonna be is flipping stuff. So I could see it being kind of boring um, so I'm not sure how much you guys are going to like it, but yeah, let's, uh, let's get to the video. Turn this 250 mil into 500 mil. Also, some of you guys haven't watched all my videos and just watched the video of me getting hacked, uh, and probably didn't even watch that entire video. So you have no idea where I got this 250 mil from, but, uh, I got hacked on one account. I had like 90% of my wealth on that one account, but not all of it. Yeah, I still had money on other accounts. So this is just, this isn't all of the money I had left either. I have some more money on some other accounts, but this is the majority of the money that I had left and that I haven't spent yet. Uh, so that is where this money is from. All right, so none of my primordial boots bought or black chins. That's too bad, but my super combat did buy 12,326 each. I based that price off of buying one and then selling one, seeing what the margins were and the OS buddy price. Um, and see what they are now. So I'm just gonna sell one, see how much it's selling for. 12,505 is the Insta buy. And so I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it up a little bit above the Insta buy. So I'm gonna probably sell them for 12,594. 12, Five nine four. There we go. Uh, Super restores. I'm gonna kind of do the same thing. Looks like I'm pretty lucky. Looks like they rose overnight. Um, I'm gonna put these in for fourteen point nine seven four. So fourteen point nine seven four k. If I can sell them for that, that is some awesome profit right there. Because none of these bought, I'm going to go ahead and raise my offer on these two and see if I can get some later on. Oh, there goes a DFS right there. So it looks like they prob probably will sell for that, which is awesome. A GE full of stuff, just everything bought. That is good to see, as long as your items haven't crashed on you. So I'm going to go ahead and try and see what these prices are on OS Buddy, try and flip them, and hopefully I can profit on everything. Looks like the Dragon Fire Shields have dropped, so the price I'm selling for right now would be profit, a little bit of profit but I'm not sure they're gonna sell for that because OS Buddy is saying 14.7, so that's gonna be a stretch to sell them for that, but hopefully they do everything else. Um, looks like it'll probably will sell based on the OS Buddy prices, but it's really small margins, unfortunately, so uh, not gonna to make too much out of these flips. As I thought, my DFSs are not selling. Everything else sold for a little bit of profit, not too much, but a little bit. Um, my DFSs, not even one has sold yet though, so I think it looks like I'm probably gonna be taking a loss on the DFSs. So a tactic I like to use while buying, usually things that you can buy in bulk, like I usually don't do this for higher end items. Um, some people do, but I think there's, the margins are usually a little bit too big if you're buying like really big items. So I usually just do this with uh, lower items and the trick is basically, I'll show you guys here right here. Uh, here's some prayer potions. I had them in for a little while and they weren't buying. So I'm gonna go ahead and check the margins and the buy and sell prices right now. So I had it in for 8,451. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and put in an offer for one, uh, just really high, just to make sure I insta buy it. So that is what it's insta selling for, and then I'm going to sell it, see what it's insta selling for. And so there is the margins right there. So 8590 and 8600, that's really, really small. I'm going to try and uh, put in a buy offer a little bit lower than that. So gonna, I think I'm going to put in a buy offer for. Uh, 8521, we'll see how that works out. So, prayer potions, the buy limit on these are 2K, I'm pretty sure. So, 8521, I think I said. 
Awesome, all of my stuff sold for some pretty good profit. Um, there's a staff of the day, I think that's 200k. Tons of money off the master wands. Money. I'm going to go ahead and look at my history and look at the profit I made on all this stuff, but I think I made quite a bit right there. So the staff of the dead, I made almost 200k. The prayer potions, I made um, about 200k. The master wands, I made over a mil off the master wands. And the spectral, over 300k. So that is a pretty good haul right there. Um, and then also overnight, my Armadillo Chain Skirts bought for 14.626. Uh, looks like they are about the same price. I'm going to try and flip them for like 75k each. Yes, now that is what I want to see. A little over 100k profit on all of these boots. Uh, these Spectrals are going up right now. They're 44.7, so I'm going to put those in for 44.744. Big profit on these flips right now. It's a profit on the peapots. Bought some restores. Gonna go ahead and check what they're worth and bought a few super combats. So looking pretty good right now. Alright, so I just bought six bandos chest plates, 12, 336 each. Um, I'm gonna put them in overnight for a little bit higher than what OS Buddy is saying, try and get a little bit larger margin than I do in the daytime. Uh, because in the daytime I'd be trying to flip them a little bit quicker, maybe in a couple hours. Right now I have the entire night though, so, and possibly, probably like eight hours for them to sit in here. So I'm gonna do a little bit wider margin, try and get, um, I'll go for 12, 399K each, which is a decent flip for a 12 mil item from what, I, from what I've experienced so far, like 100K for that is pretty, pretty decent. So let's see if I can get that. Not quite 100k. My math is a little off there, but actually, not, it's a little bit more than 50k, so I'm really off there. Um, actually, I think I'm going to put it in for a little bit higher. So 24k is what I'll, I'll put it in for 12424k. That's stretching it a little bit with Bandos chest plates. The margin is actually a little, pretty small and old school. Like flipping stuff back in the day, you could get a lot bigger margins than you do nowadays, but. I think I might be able to get that, but we'll see. Awesome, I got the Bandos chest plates for what I wanted them for, but the sad part is these Dragon Warhammers dropped overnight, so I'm actually losing on them a little bit. I was able to sell my Dragon Warhammers. Sadly, I got like 100, probably about almost 350k total loss on these two Warhammers. Um, but I got a little bit lucky because they're actually dropping even further now, so it's good I got this offer in earlier before they dropped even further. Um, none of my Bandos chest plays bought, so I'm going to have to up the offer on those or switch my offer to something else. Take a gamble with some Arcanes. They have been just rising constantly. Um, I expected them to kind of crash before now, but they haven't, so they could crash on me now, but that would be, that'd be pretty unlikely, I think. Um, we'll see. I'm going to try and flip them really quickly, though. I'm not going to hold on to them for very long. So if it does crash on me, that is really bad read on my part or really bad luck. Full GE bought and sold. So I'm going to try and flip these spirit shields for probably like 400k each profit. So I'm going to put them in for 91, uh, 91, 444k, I think. 91, 444k. So there's a decent amount of profit there. And as for my tortures, I'm going to go ahead and put them in for 15999k each. I think I might have said one too many nines, but you guys get the picture. Just like that. And I'm going to check the prices for my pots and put those in as well. Well, bad news. One of my arcane sold, but what do you know? They're crashing. They literally have been rising for two weeks straight and hours after I decided to try and flip some, they crashed. What are the chances? But um, they're not crashing too hard, so hopefully I can still sell it and um, maybe lose about as much as I made on this one, so like break even uh, counting both the shields. We'll see. Also, my Spectral and Armadillo chest plate sold. There is about a mil profit right there off those two items. Um, how do I select items? I just pretty much just kind of go random. Like, there's probably a better way to do it, but 
really you can merch or flip just about any item in the game you just put an offer a little bit lower than like what it's averagely average selling for and then put it in back in to sell for a little bit higher so it really is you can flip pretty much anything uh, and make at least some profit so yeah I don't really I mean there's some items I see I look at their prices and I say oh that's an awesome item to flip I'm gonna flip that item uh, but usually it's just I kinda just pick random items and see how they go I'm gonna go ahead and try and flip some more arcanes again they went back up so apparently yesterday when I lost some money on one I think I just bought and sold at kinda of bad part of the day uh, while flipping there are good times of the day where prices generally are a little bit higher and worse times where they're generally a little bit lower and they just go up and down between day and night and stuff like that so I think I might have just sold at kind of a bad time so I'm gonna try and flip a couple arcanes again and see if I can make a little bit more profit than last time so today I tried to flip some, I'm going to try and flip some more imbued hearts. I bought one overnight for pretty low. Uh, this is a pretty rarely traded item. So with more rarely traded items, you're going to need a little bit more patience. Uh, the flip time is going to be longer, but usually the margins are also going to be quite a bit bigger. So I think I'm going to be able to flip this for probably around six, 700k profit. So I'm going to go ahead and try and put that in and hopefully it sells. Nice, nice. About 300k off the Ferro Scepters and about 450k off the Spectrals. Let's look at their pri buy prices. So there is the buy prices for those. Um, not too much off the Odiums. Uh, I was hoping for a little bit more. I still ended up making probably like 60, 70k off the Odiums though. And as for these two, let's see if I can flip them for some profit. Yes, look at those Arcanes. I think I got over a mil profit, like almost 1.5 mil profit on both of those. I'm going to go look what I bought them for. So selling them for basically 96 mil. And I bought them for 94.656. So like 1.35, something like that mil profit on each shield. So that is pretty dang good. I'm going to go ahead and collect all this stuff. Um, 215 mil plus two tassies. That is looking good, guys. So Arcanes are in the process of crashing right now, so I'm going to take a little bit of a gamble and try and buy some for pretty low and try and get a nice little flip on them. Just a day ago, they were 95.5 mil. Uh, today, OS Buddy is saying 90.5, so they crashed 5 mil, which is quite a bit for an item of this price. And so I'm going to go ahead and put in, put in a really low offer. I'm going to try for 89.501. I'm just going to test it out first. Just make sure I, I don't put in an offer for like three and then they all insta buy. So I'll wait a second. And yeah, that's not buying right now. So I'm going to go ahead and go with that. 89.501. And can I buy three? Nope, I only have enough for two right now. So try and buy two for go with that and yeah fingers crossed that they don't crash even more and I lose money on this this is a risky flip right here but uh, I think I can make some good money on it all right so my Abby daggers bought I'm gonna put those in for 944 so a little over 100k profit each so 8944k for those and my arcanes bought so yeah, they are crashing pretty hard. I think I'm gonna be able to flip them for a little bit though. I, I kind of expect them to go back up a little bit. So I'm gonna put these in for uh, 90, 9,400 something. So about a mil each. I'm gonna go with 94, 44K. 4, and hopefully those sell overnight. Uh, my super stores have almost completely sold. My Pegasians are struggling a little bit though. Once again, everything has sold awesome. How much did I make on the restores? 8544 each is what I sold them for. And I bought them for 8304, so around 150 GP profit on each one. Um, or <clears throat> 8544, so more like 250 GP profit per, for each one. And. So that's pretty good. That's that's basically like I just crafted 2,000 nature runes. So awesome. 
For something that requires such little starting cash, super stores are an awesome pet item to flip right now. Uh, Arcanes, I uh, bought them for 89.5 mil each. <clears throat> Ended up selling them for 90.444 each. So about 950k profit each. That is pretty nice there. My Abbey Daggers, 98924. I think that is like 75k profit each. Um, so no more like 90k profit each. I, I could be off on these estimates. I'm just guessing here. So just doing really quick mental math. Um, but yeah, 70 plus 20, so like 90, 95k profit each on the Abbey Daggers. Uh, the Pegasians, um, 20, so I made like, how much I said, so I made like 90, 90, around 90 to 100k on those as well, so pretty good. Let's see how much, I, this is all selling, so I'm going to be on pure cash now, let's see what I'm at. I started at 250 and now I'm at 271. Hey guys, so another day of profit. I think I made a couple mil right here with these items. Um, Abbey Daggers, I think I made like 50K profit for each of these, so there, there's 400K. Um, the Abyssal Bludgeons, they went up a little bit, so I actually ended up making about three or 400K profit on each bludgeon. I'm gonna check that really quickly. Uh, so bludgeons I bought for 106 each and they are so yeah 330k just about on each one so basically about a mil right there uh, i lost a little bit on the mages book um the eternal boots i think i made around 60 or 70k each on those so there's another like 500k and the superstores i probably made like a couple hundred k on so that is pretty good let's see how much gp i have total now 274 mil so I'm right on the brink of 10% of my starting money that I've made so I think that this is gonna be the end of the video here um, there's the ending for video one and thank you guys for watching see you next time